we play a round called This Isn't Just News, This Is A Wheel Of News. <laughs> this game involves Michael, Mark, Frankie and Russell, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This is where we test our performers' stand-up skills. We spin our news generator, it settles on topic, and anyone can volunteer jokes about the chosen subject. The winners of the team I judge should produce the funniest stuff. Here we go. We spin the wheel. <laughs> the first topic is relationships. I think when you go on a date with someone, it's a bit like playing cards, isn't it? There's a couple of cards you let the other person see. There's also a couple of cards that you hold to your chest. Well, as you can see, I'm punctual and employed. I'm holding untidiness and sexual deviance. <laughs> I actually lost my virginity to my mother's best friend. It was my father. <laughs> it was the only time he ever told me he loved me. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into my dad the other day in a lap dancing bar. He was making good tips. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I don't understand about sex. You know, like nudie calendars. Nudie calendars? Who's wanking going, I can't believe it's Pancake Tuesday? <laughs> hey, right, thank you. <laughs> OK, let's spin the wheel again. And the subject is travel. Who wants to come in at? Russell. I, uh, I went to Hong Kong recently. It's fantastic. I was so giddy I did a gig there. I told my mum about it. I was like, I'm doing a gig in Hong Kong. She's like, ooh, in English, probably. <laughs> Travel is becoming more and more scary, do you find that, you know? But they, we look for terrorists now based on gender, ethnicity and behaviour. They must have come and go, are they shifty? Are they beige? And we... <laughs> we don't need help being racist. We're very good at it as a nation. It's horrible. You know when you get on a plane, you see someone who's vaguely foreign, you can't help but go, oh, God, he's a bomber. Oh, God, he's a bomber. <laughs> and you know he's looking at me and going, fuck, he's in a boy band. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that. <laughs> don't chat about your lyrics. And we now have to take our shoes off in case there's bombs in there. It's fairly obvious who the shoe bomber is. I would imagine it's the man gingerly <laughs> approaching <laughs> like that. I love Russell. Travel. <laughs> OK, that leaves us with Mark and Michael. Let's spin the wheel. The next topic is hotels. Who wants to come in on that? I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a lot to say about hotels. I stayed in a terrible... I'm not allowed to mention it, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, such a depressing hotel. You know, you've got your Gideon Bible, your mini bar. Mini bar's a depressing word as well. It's a fridge, in fact. <laughs> you know, yeah. If it was really a mini bar, you'd have tiny people being sick outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then... While I'm ranting, uh, these people ne in the next room, this guy's having a party. Who has a party in a budget hotel? Went round, said, please turn the music down. The guy said, mate, we're having a party. I thought, yeah, it's not that I don't understand the situation here. <laughs> I, I wasn't lying in bed at two in the morning thinking, oh, clinking glasses, laughter, deafening music. It's the mystery that's keeping me awake here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I... Well done, Mark. <laughs> OK, Michael, let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin <laughs> the wheel. So we use <laughs> create an interesting tone for your journey yes. back to hey! uh, Yeah, Wales. Uh, well, of course, they have their own language. This is really the thing. And they um, are very keen for people of Wales to learn it. So they have it up everywhere, all the vocab. But they have it not only on road signs, but they also have it on the road. So I was driving into Wales and it says slow, and then the Welsh for slow, which is a rough. And I, I, I didn't know this, and I thought it said, slow, Arab. I thought, whoa! Whoa! Given the delicate global political situation, is this the best way to handle the terror threat? Have there been a meeting at the Welsh Assembly? We've got to do something about Al-Qaeda. It's only a matter of time before they make their move in the valleys. <laughs> Any ideas? No? Not one? OK, well, while we're thinking, let's slow them down on the roads. <laughs> <laughs> Slow, Adam. Put your hands where I can bloody see them. Thank you. At the end of that round, I'm going to give the points to Russell and Mark. Yeah. Yeah.